Hi friends, I'm often asked, what is my worldview? What do I think is going to happen in the future? Of course, I'm not a prophet and there is no prophecy today in, in the Jewish view. It's only given to children and to fools. Well, I'm not going to prophesize, but reading from this book of the Bible, what I believe is happening is the coming of Messiah very soon. The, the Talmud, Jewish tradition, teaches that when the Messiah comes, the world will be topsy-turvy. We will say about day that it's night and night that it's day, morality that it's immorality and immorality that it's morality. This week, the um, delegation from the United Nations is coming to investigate the war crimes in Israel, not of Hamas, but Israel that acted in the most ethical way that an army in modern times or certainly in history has acted. And yet they're coming to scrutinize Israel's actions, not Hamas. That's an example of how the world is topsy-turvy in terms of its morality. I believe we're seeing a new strategic relationship evolving where Israel is going to join with Jordan and Saudi Arabia and other countries, including Arab countries, to form this coalition against radical Islamic terrorism that has already seized so much of the Middle East, the ISIS movement, Hamas, Hezbollah, terrorism, Iran, all of this is going to come together. I believe the rise of anti-Semitism that we're seeing sweeping Europe, not just Arab lands, but England and France and Germany and Belgium, I believe we're going to see that spreading in Latin America and even, God forbid, in America. And so Europe as Donald Rumsfeld uh, once said, the old Europe, which the United States came to save twice already in world wars, I believe Europe will eventually succumb to the pressure of Islamist, Islamist radical Islam, and we will see this coalition of NATO and the other countries really being a paper tiger, as we're seeing even now, in the case of the Ukraine. These are harsh things for me to say. I'm usually very moderate politically, but I believe we're seeing a change that's re going to require each of us and each nation to decide who are we are with. The Bible teaches that during the time of Elijah, Elijah confronted the worshipers of Baal with that statement. Take a side. No more jumping on both sides of the fence, to use his words. You need to take a stand. I believe that today the question being posed to each of us is the biblical question. Will we choose life or will we choose death? Will we choose sin? Or will we choose uh, to believe that what is sinful, the radical Islam that we're seeing, the anti-Semitism that we're seeing, the attacks against Israel that we're seeing, that that is described as something good. We will need to take a stand for our faith. And I believe we're living at a time when Christians and Jews need to come together as at no point before in history. We need to come together for both our sakes. We need to come together, America and Israel, to save the Western world and our Judeo-Christian values, which have become obfuscated and attacked in our own time. I always say Israel has been and is the canary in the in the mine. Israel is taking a bullet for Western civilization. And I hope and I pray that President Obama, that the United States, that the Western world will catch itself 
in time before Iran has a nuclear weapon, which we seem to be allowing this process to happen, which will change the dynamics of everything. My friends, please pray and take a stand and urge others to take a stand while we still can.